Hi everyone, I'm Eric, and today we're going to be doing another Puffin Forest video. I know, shocking. I've really come to love his animation style and the silly humor he puts in there. I, I will say though that um, today's title, the, the video, is Breath of the Wild Co-op. He split the controller in half between two players. I don't play Breath of the Wild. Most because I don't have a Switch or a Wii U or any of the things to play it. I'm not salty about that at all. Yeah. My girlfriend does, though, and she's a massive fan. That said... This... I know nothing about this game, and I already know. This is going to go bad. This is going to go... Really bad. It'll go really bad. So bad that I'm really looking forward to all the explosions. I think he's going to edit in explosions because... Yeah. I think we all know how this is going to go. Especially if you have already watched the video, like by clicking the link down below to the original one, which you have already done. You did? Good. Let's get started. <coughs> puffin, puffin. Oh, come on, it needs to be said. Like Breath of the Wild. As you know, on the Nintendo Switch, you can split Whoa. the controllers, and normally you'd use one oh. on each hand. But what oh, we yeah, did Switch was split them that. up between the players, with one person controlling Link's aiming and firing, while the other person controls the movement. I don't own a Nintendo Switch. It's After like, all, I'm not some oh, kind of crazy God. fanatic who watches the release days like a hawk. But I know someone who does, and he's the only friend who hasn't installed good enough locks to keep me out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> that must mean he <laughs> the likes window. me. We started playing Zelda uh, co-op like because we were getting sick of the other co-op game we had on the Switch. I mean, you're either playing Zelda or the the other... There's well, other I, games uh, on the Switch? What was it called? The one with the two pieces of paper that keep making suggestive faces at each other? Clipper Snips. Ah, there we go. That's a real thing? Which gets an award for being the worst game to play while someone is overhearing you talking to a friend. As you're trying to tell your partner to hold still while you pack your ooze into his hole. Meanwhile, the whole time <laughs> I'm trying to understand... How do two pieces of paper cut each other? Oh, so God. We playing Zelda, and the game began with Link coming out of cryo... St uh, cryo... Er, no, honestly, I kind of wish they went sci-fi Zelda. That would be awesome. He immediately set out into the world and saw all that the landscape had to offer. I'm not going to say what that looks so, like. So, finally, finally, like. after all of what people have been talking about, they made the Legend of Zelda open world. Yes, they took the adventure story and took it to the open world. Original. Bit of a stretch for the series, don't you think? From what I heard, Nintendo was trying to fix a lot of the problems people had with Skyward Sword, which I never played, but from what I hear online, it was worse than the Holocaust. I know Damn. in the previous ones, they made the stories linear, so you had to follow the temples in the correct order. Now they made the game so that after the tutorial, you can fly right over to Ganon's castle and, and get die. a sword shoved up into your ass if that's what you're into. I think they also got just... rid of characters like Navi and Fee, so I don't have someone in game following me around telling me I'm doing something wrong. I've got my two other friends for that. That Fuck the story. You can't tell me what to do. Oh god, these goblins are trying to murder me. Why doesn't this game tell me what I'm supposed to be doing? <laughs> There's a lot here to find and explore. Yeah, I remember how much pre guardian hate at the beginning. What could be hiding around the next corner? Killing you! Murder. Mostly just, mur oh, he's just actually, murder. Actually Mostly right. just murder. Nice. Well, lots and lots of murder everywhere. Yeah. When I was playing, I encountered one of the guardians on the ground. Oh, hey, look at this weird mechanical thing. Oh, oh no. My. Aww. It's looking right oh, at Oh, no. Hi there, new friend. Blah, make a death face laser. <laughs> oh, ah, the laser meme. Almost as bad as most people I mean in real life. The world's pretty big. Oh, wow. That's I hear there's depressing. supposed to be about 900 Korok seeds all over the map. Oh, yeah. Getting okay. the first 899 are probably the easy part, but trying to figure out where that last one is would drive me insane. I've had nightmares like that. You I'm can also actively find not great thinking about springs, that. Just like in the Ocarina of Time. I like that they kept the great fairies absolutely terrifying and also gave them suggestive lines of dialogue. Lots and lots of suggestive dialogue. Unlike other Zelda games, they added a stamina meter which Seriously? slowly drains as you get to I your didn't destination, it was that either suggestive. climbing oh or flying or running. But it can Dying. be a tense struggle as you watch it go down slowly and wonder if you will have enough time to reach your destination until you remember that no. you can eat foods in midair to restore your stamina. Until you open your inventory in the pause menu and you remember you don't have any and you sit there on the pause menu realizing that you're nanoseconds from death and you go through the wily coyote death scene. The game is supposed to get easier the longer you play That's as awesome. you get fancy magic gear. However, no, it it's easy to get into the situation where you have nothing but nice things and you don't want to waste your good gear on lame enemies. First world problems. It actually wasn't as hard as it sounds to play co-op Zelda because shrines are Seriously? mostly puzzle based. So it wasn't about pulling off an insane feat of combos and oh, attacks. Oh, okay, that was a surprise. But more hitting the correct switches on the wind fans to launch the ball to the target. 
The hardest part about the game was keeping your cool while your friends are backseat gaming. No, no, no. You're now supposed to be jumping there. We have to go the other way. At first, they let me play as the legs until I kept throwing Link off the chasm of death. <laughs> so they decided to play it safe and put me as the upper body this Whee! time. But that no, just looks weird like that. Um, wah, wah, wah. Stop throwing our fancy magical items off the cliff, Ben. Okay, if I have to hear you guys complaining one more time, you throw mister, everything I am pulling Link over and the two of you are going to be walking to Hyrule Castle. Aren't they? After doing this for a while, I'm surprised they didn't just hand me a cardboard cutout with circle oh, on it and okay, go, cardboard. Yeah, thanks, Ben, for helping out. We mostly explore the map rather than follow any of the trails, instead going to sites that just looked interesting. In particular, there was an open a lagoon game. that was in the shape of a spiral. Ooh. Then we saw something on the map which looked like this. Ooh, a maze. Yes, please. It's amazing. Now, you might be thinking that having an overhead map in a maze might make it easier. You'd be wrong. Because some of the paths went underground. And, like a bunch of dumbasses, oh, no. we just had to check every dead end. <laughs> and they're to make bringing sure him it along. really was a dead end. And there wasn't, like, you know, the fucking Master Sword in there. You can never be too careful. They're not uh, wrong either. Eventually, we the came to the center and got the spirit orb. You You'd think need. that'd be the end of it, but no. We had to mm -hmm. follow a trail that wound around the outside, which was guarded by a litany of monsters. You want to know what we found? A Stick? shitty sword which we were just left in there for some other adventurer to be disappointed by. <laughs> it's also great playing with two others, because in games, I would never be caught dead crafting or cooking, so I can just have them do my chores for me. Just like roommates in real life. Breath of the Wild is a really good game. I, know, I am judging you for that I one. I know. A lot of people are undecided about the game. People were on the fence. But now really? We, Who? We can settle that little debate. Who is now left on the fence? I thought, oh, this must be older then. Ten cents. Halfway playing through it, we got into a weird debate about which of the female characters was the most waifu of the group. I don't see why we were debating. The answer was obvious. Mifa. The answer is Mifa. Some of you might have guessed some kind of the other agree. Ones, like Zelda or Bosa or Smaller Bosa. I mean, that's fine. Everyone has their own opinions. Not Smaller Bosa. No. The wrong one. <laughs> okay, I, I just got to say right now. I have no idea why that was a fight at the end. Why, why would someone fight over who's the best waifu in Zelda? Puffin Forest is right, and it's definitely Mifa. And I, I just, seriously, who would ever be anyone else to say <laughs> it's not Mifa? No, no one would say that. No one would say that. It is Mifa. Always. I will admit, though, Zelda's um, plant gathering skills. Uh, impressive. They're impressive. I really hope Pretty Guardian isn't watching right now because I am probably going to get judged so hard for that. <laughs> Love you, dear. Uh, I, I will say, though, I'm a little surprised how well it worked for him. I was expecting someone to do what they accuse him of and always walk off the edge, but in purpose, not, not just because they screwed up. Okay, maybe because they screwed up, too. More than likely, intentionally, sometimes, sometimes not. Said they did it on purpose. I mean, it's not like I've ever um, screwed up so hard. I'd rather people believe I was intentionally being a dick than actually that incompetent. That, that, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no one will ever see the evidence. It's all the same, you guys. You know the drill. Link below, original video. You've already hit it up? Good! And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.